Hello, I'm Lou and welcome back to Open Up The Cloud. If you saw my last video, you will know that I asked you about four different questions that I think you should be asking yourself when it comes to getting into the cloud industry. Those were, what is the job title or job role that you're aiming for? Why do you think you are the right person for that role? The five different skills that you're looking to learn when you're getting into the cloud industry, which are the skills that you are not going to learn? If you want to, you can go back and watch that video and then you can actually download the PDF and fill it in yourself. Now in this video, I actually want to take you through someone who sent me over the answer to those questions. I've got that up here on the computer and I want to actually run through that with you and talk about some of the advice that I gave to them. I'm going to talk that through with you in this video as well. Okay, so first things first is this person as well actually has filled in the top part, which is the role I'm in cloud I'm aiming for is cloud engineer. Perfect. It's really important that you know which role that you're actually aiming for. Now it's fine in the early days to sort of explore, maybe learn some programming, take a basic level certification, but at some point you really do want to start to focus in on a role. Now the second thing that this person mentioned also is that they're actually a career transitioner from a role as a teacher. Now, if you've been a teacher, it's quite likely that you've got skills in leadership, in communication, in problem solving. Don't underestimate those abilities that you already have. Definitely call those out when you get to interview and also call those out on your resume. Even if you're coming from an industry that feels completely unrelated, like something like teaching. Okay, so this person has actually filled out a lot of the different questions that I asked in the PDF. Like, are you interested more in people or in data? Do you like to work alone? Uh, they're more just kind of prompt you things to think about. What's nice to see is this person actually looked into the different jobs that are available in their local area. This is something that I see so many people overlook. They don't actually go and look at a job board. Job boards themselves are an absolute gold mine of information so that you can build a learning plan. Moving on to the second question was, why do you think that you specifically can be successful at this role? Now I asked this question because I see a lot of beginners picking roles that quite frankly are not matched to their past experience. Now there is no easy answer here. It's just important that you start to consider that and you do ask yourself the question whether or not this is the right role for you. Nice to see here as well that they actually looked at what a cloud engineer actually does. Now, of course, they mentioned here that some of these answers are taken from online resources. Well, of course they are. That's absolutely fine as long as you have a clear understanding of what the role is and what kind of skills are necessary for that role. We're getting onto the part that's kind of interesting now, which is the different skills that this person has looked at. I actually think that the five skills that they chose are some really good ones. First thing that they mention is foundational understanding of computer science via CS50. Now, if you're not aware of what CS50 is, it's basically a free online degree from Harvard University in computer science. I haven't taken it personally. However, I've heard of so many people who are sort of self taught that really recommends CS50 to give you that fundamental computer science knowledge. Now, the second thing that they talked about was learning a coding language, either via Codem Academy or the Odin project. And they say torn between Python and JavaScript. Although in the job adverts I saw posted, Python was the coding language of choice. I often ask people to go and look at job descriptions because I think it's very important that you pick skills that are grounded in reality. Now, interestingly, this person even notes that Python is the better choice. And I would agree. That's because it can be used for web development, for data and for cloud tasks. Now, I would say JavaScript is actually more towards the software engineering route. So it's certainly not a bad choice, but I definitely would go with Python. Next up, they mentioned Linux. Linux is a great foundational skill, especially if you're looking to get into a job like the cloud engineer. If you look at different resources that I'm often recommending, like the Learn to Cloud Guide, you'll also see that Linux itself appears as phase one. Now, what I would say for Linux actually is to maybe not focus on it for too long. It can be a little bit of an esoteric skill. I know starting out that personally, I didn't really understand the purpose of Linux until I started to put it into practice. Next up, this person mentions learning networking. Try to achieve this by sitting the CompTIA Network Plus exam. That's a great start point. Definitely, if you're looking to get into cloud engineer or maybe even security, network is definitely something that you want to understand. Now, lastly, this person mentions learning the cloud through AWS Cloud Pr Practitioner course. Now, it's nice to see as well that they were able to find out the certification program for Amazon and then figure out that the Cloud Practitioner is a good foundation initial certification. Totally agree. It's one of the certifications that I would recommend to a beginner if they were trying to wrap their head around what a cloud is. Are any of these skills overlapping? So they say there could be a, a slight overlap with learning to code and CS50. That's not actually a problem. What I'm looking for here is duplicate. So you don't want to learn two skills that essentially do the same thing because that potentially could be a waste of time. Whereas in this case, the coding and CS50, these are complementary. So they're not necessarily duplicates, which is actually a good thing. So that's great to see. 
Okay, so moving into the last section, the individual says the skills that they will not learn. Now they say, out of the skills listed, I do not feel any of them are less important. Now, actually the five things that they mentioned are some great foundational skills. However, they're also very broad. As you're going through those, I would start to think about what are the potential areas within those, let's say within cloud, networking and Linux that actually you're going to leave to later. However, it's nice to see that they mentioned that there are things that they're excited about, which is particularly JavaScript. This could be a distraction as I may find myself consuming my time by trying to design creative user-friendly websites using animations using Figma. Yeah, I would totally agree. Quite frankly, Figma is not a tool that you will need as a cloud engineer. So I would say that that's definitely one that you could put on the not to learn list. Okay, so there we go. That concludes a run through of this cloud engineer learning plan. If you want, you can go back to the previous video where I have shared the information about the PDF. You can download it and then fill it in for yourself. However, if you're looking for another video to watch, what I would suggest is to look at this video where I analyzed over 2000 different cloud job descriptions to figure out what other different skills are required for all of the different roles. Otherwise, I have lots of videos coming soon, so I will see you in the next video.